Oh, hello guys, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. I feel like today's video is kind of long awaited. It might not be a finished result. I have no idea how far I'm gonna get with today's video, but on today's agenda is organize with me. A kitchen restock, kitchen organize, pantry organize, storage solutions that kind of thing. So I've got, um, if you're brand new to my channel, hello, welcome. We've recently renovated our house and we have finished the kitchen pantry area. However, I still need to organize. All the kitchen cupboards are pretty much done. It's the pantry organization, which is just through there that needs to be done. So that is today's plan. Hope you guys enjoy the kind of organize, restock kind of videos because I certainly do. I find them super, super motivating. Um, but yeah. Sit back, relax guys, grab yourself a drink, enjoy. Um, I'll show you what I'm wearing today actually. This is my dress for the day. I um, have just thrown this on because it's actually sunny today. It's quite nice and warm and I feel like when I'm doing stuff, I end up getting really hot and bothered anyway. So hair is probably gonna go straight on top of my head in a sec. But yeah, it's an old H&M dress from last year. It was really cheap as well I remember and it's just so comfortable. So yes, this is my dress for the day as you can tell the mess in the background we need to have a big clear up oh slippers might make an appearance today as well who knows um but yeah i'm ready to get going i feel like you have to pick a day where you feel motivated to do something like this because then it becomes one of those tasks throughout the day that you're like why did i start this whereas if you're motivated from the start you just get it done and once you start it, you can't go back. So anyway, that is the um, outfit for today. Nice and comfy. Tom has just taken Barney for a nice little run. So he's gonna get back and probably be a bit muddy and wet, which is just gonna be great. So I think I'm gonna make a start on, I need to do like the dishwashers and stuff. Have a bit of a general tidy up before getting going with the pantry. I wanna show you how the storage, um, storage room slash front room at the minute because I've basically been sorting through the storage room in the front room. So as you can tell, we have boxes galore. <laughs> the boxes just keep growing and growing, but hopefully the plan is to fully empty out the storage room to be able to clean it and then reorganize, label these boxes up and pop them back downstairs. We've got a lot of awesome decor, guys. Thing is though, with these storage boxes, these are 80 liter ones, and like this one, for instance, it only has like two wreaths in but that's the whole box. There is a little candle holder there as well. But because of the size of them, that's like a full box just for a couple of wreaths. So, and look, there's another wreath in there as well. So I maybe got too many wreaths for autumn. <laughs> well, um, this one could be like a kind of Christmassy one as well because of the burgundy. Anyway, that was Hobbycraft last year. I think it was about 15 pounds and it's huge. Really, really nice. But yeah, this is how the storage solution system is looking. That's kind of Christmas. Then down here, we've got all sorts. We've got like a tech box, a house decor. There's probably gonna be a few more of these. Stationary kind of section. And then we've got spring. I've found a couple more bits. So I've actually onto my second spring box. Um, how nice is this wreath? Didn't get a chance to use it. I think I got it in the sale after spring, but three pounds. This little woven bunny, so cute. Anyway, that is how it's currently looking. We've got the pile of uh, over here of like spare boxes, spare bags, spare hampers, and then a couple of bags to donate. And then in here, we've just been um, <clears throat> popping a couple of things in these cupboards as I go. And yeah, I'll quickly show you down in the storage room so you can see how much we still have. <laughs> to do it's a lot guys what we're right yeah we have a lot but it's like christmas decor it just takes up so much space i was a quick check for spiders has anyone else noticed spider season is coming early this year i feel like there's a few anyway this is into our storage room so this kind of section here obviously we've got a coat rack with loads of coats but a lot of this stuff there's a big box there a lot of that is all like tom's stuff like ladders golf clubs cricket stuff um We've got some spare shallower boxes that we might end up using for smaller things. A couple of like old kitchen stuff that we might be able to pop in um, the pantry or something. And then literally all of these shelves were full. These were all full to the brim, so we're slowly working our way through. We've got a few spare tubs left, so I'll be able to take them up. In here is pretty much, apart from the pumpkin, 
Christmas decor and like tree decor. And then on the top is where our Christmas tree is. So like those two bags are just one Christmas tree. <laughs> and then that huge box here is a wreath. And I think that back one is the garland, one of these. That's a twig tree as well, all balsam hill, all amazing, but they do take up a lot of space. So um, yeah, I might keep the Christmas decor or those bits on the top of those shelves. Oh, I wonder if there's a better way I can store them. No, I feel like they need to be on the top shelf because I can't easily get a box down from there. So we don't obviously need access to those all the time. So I probably will keep those up there. But then these, hopefully, I'll end up getting rid of these and popping the Christmas decor within these kind of tubs. We might even get another one of these storage shelves, and maybe pop it there. Or the other option would be to kind of have it as like a bit of a galley walkway and have um, have them here down the middle. So you kind of walk down different aisles to get to the storage boxes. I do feel like it's such a luxury to be able to have a storage room like this, honestly. Ugh, it's been amazing. And then in terms of the pantry, I'll show you that. So you've got a quick before of what the pantry is looking like. The larger unit is often open, but you can also close it away as well. It'd be nice to have this looking really aesthetic, really organized and less of the kind of mismatched, half open boxed boxes. Um, but yeah, that's the larger unit. Then down here, we just have one of those like little lazy Susans with oils and stuff. We've got a couple of these um, acrylic tubs with different things in, cereals, flowers, baking stuff, spices. And then in here, I've just got basically some vitamins, medicines, and then in this bag, it's like loads of tins. This one, it's loads of jars. This one, loads of like random packeted items in both of those. In these cupboards, what do we have? Oh, I have just a couple of so that's the only food in this cupboard. Otherwise, just lots of storage containers. These are done out. Our nin, uh, no, what's it called? Nutribullet or whatever it is. A um, couple more jars and stuff, bis baskets down there. This I've kind of been using as Barney's like dog area. I do have a bag of food here, which I might see if I can find a tub that fits in there that I can kind of decant his food into that. Oh, I did actually pick up these from pets at home, a few bags of these to go in this jar here. So we'll pop those in later. Top cupboards, we've just got some like handheld stuff in there. In this one, we've got oh, a couple of reed diffusers up there. Again, a couple more baskets. These are all empty. They're just ready to start organizing. Tom's pizza bits for the pizza oven, wine cooler, bread bin. And then in this cupboard, we have another bread bin. That one's got inside like tea, coffee and sugar canisters as well and snacks or biscuits or something. And that one doesn't actually say bread. So I might use this Zara home one for something else. I have like wooden trays, I'm not sure. They probably won't get used in here, so I might move those out. A Couple of wooden scoops. Again, more acacia lidded jars. I might have to get some more jars actually, some bigger ones maybe. Um, and then this is just, apart from the porridge, it's just been like a kind of snack section. Eggs and butter as well, and some more storage containers up the top. So before we do make a start, I got some clips actually this morning from our little dog walk where we went to a little golden retriever meetup and popped to the farm shop as well. So I'll pop those in now and and then we will get on with the organization. I wanna be a weekend lover. Yeah, I'ma be the best damn lover you got. I wanna mess up your covers. I don't wanna meet your mother. Never ever ask me how I've been. Remember why you have my number. I'm the best thing that has ever happened to you. Here's your time to shine, oh, show me what you can do The way my hands feel on your body The way we're dancing in the dark With every move I make, you're falling The way my lips feel on your body The way we're moving in the dark With every breath we take, you're falling I ain't got no time for romance But baby, I don't want to you on now looking for something steady not ready for that i'm the best thing that has ever happened to you here's your time to shine on show me what you can do make a move the way my hands feel on your body they were dancing in the dark with every move i make you're falling the way my lips feel on your body we're moving in the dark With every breath we take your fall 
I think someone's home. Hello. Oh, he's panting. Did you have a nice run? Oh, go get some water then. Good run. Sound. Bought this little contraption from Amazon to try and get these windows open because having the doors open, which I love doing, just allows flies in and they all seem to gather on these windows and there's one on there now. So I'm going to use this to hook it over. These are meant for Velux windows, but ours aren't the brand Velux. Velux? Velux? But they are a skylight with a handle, but hopefully I'll be able to shimmy, shimmy on like that. Yay! And then just kind of push it open. keep this for ease of access in the pantry I think just how do I shut it there we go. Ta -da. I'll just keep it in that corner where at the minute we've just got a little ladder that is gonna go out of here that white ladder um because I bought these little step stool wooden ladders which are perfect for reaching the cupboards in here so just keep the hoover and basket in here. That basket could be good for like keeping a towel for the back door for the dog and like just some Birkenstocks or Crocs or something just to like run out to the garden in. Um, but yeah, this ladder, this decorative ladder, I'm gonna pop somewhere else. I'm not sure where, where yet. Maybe somewhere in the black room or a bedroom even with like a cozy throw over it. But anyway, it's there for now. We just hosed you down to cool you off, haven't we? Is that better? He stopped panting now. <laughs> you can go sunbathe now. So I've had a bit of a tidy up. Barney's toys back in his bed. I've just washed them recently in his bedding, which, um, yeah, I need to do like every week or two. Well, the, the blanket, but his toys, because he sucks them. <laughs> they get dirty. Like he always sucks them, like suckles them around its face. Um, so yeah, I pop them in the wash every, every week or two. And I've just judged up the sofa. This is the Bloomsbury from Sofa Club. I get asked quite a lot of questions on it. It is comfy, but the ottoman is quite like padded. So like when you're sat on it, it it's kind of like the sofa, you kind of sink in a little bit and then your feet feel like they're a little bit higher. Um, it's fine for in here, but I feel like we're gonna get something a bit more slouchy and comfortable for in the front room. Um, but yeah, really like that sofa so far. So good. There he is. I'll put a little towel and blanket out there for him. He'll probably just stay out there all day now. He loves it. It is lunchtime and my reheated pasta is ready. Oh, delish. So this is my, hi gorgeous boy. He's come to say hello. Oh, you can sniff the food, one of the two. Anyway, my leftovers from yesterday, basically we get HelloFresh and Tom wasn't home last night. So I cooked the full meal and I thought I'll put this in as my lunch for today. And it's gorgeous. It is a bit like annoying that I had this for dinner last night and I'm having it again for lunch, but it was honestly delicious. And I feel like sometimes with pasta dishes, especially tomato ones, like a lasagna or a bolognese or something, they're sometimes better the day after because the juice get to get a chance to like mix together. But anyway, this one was like a courgette and spinach and lemon zest. Mm. So good, creamy, nice. One of my favorite kinds of pasta. I definitely am more of a creamy over a tomatoey pasta. And just to top it off nicely, seems I'm doing stuff. I never really fancy a coffee if I'm like, up and about doing stuff because get hot and bothered. Nothing quite like that first sip of a Diet Coke. Oh God, it's so good. So anyway, I'm gonna enjoy, enjoy my lunch outside. The sun's out, the rare sunshine that we've been seeing this summer. Watch us get like a really hot autumn when we're all actually ready for autumn. 
decorating the house and it's like 39 degrees. Friends will come, friends will go They all seem to change While I'm still the same Cause I just can't let go And there's no one to blame It's just the way it is Be happy, be happy. Can you hear that in the background? for a sec so who spilt spinach down their white dress Bing. so i just got changed i've just thrown on some um, cycle shorts and a t-shirt this t-shirt's so nice from lululemon i just i love lululemon anyway um just sorting through storage room bits at the minute and i came across this book and i had to share it with you i brought it in here because in the bookshelf in the other room which is black i'm thinking more lighter colored books there's probably a few in here actually that could go through that but here, I thought this one would look nice in here. I just think it's gorgeous. Like the actual cover of it and the fact that it's dark. But also the photos inside, it's very like this, very moody, dark. And I just love it. I'll leave that one linked below. I'll link my favorites. They're all on my Amazon storefront. So if you wanna see all of my favorites, I'll leave my Amazon storefront below. And I've just got some spare reeds, which I'm just gonna pop downstairs in my little candle cupboard in the utility and crack on and carry on clearing out and organizing. I probably could do with starting on the pantry actually. Yeah, I might do that. I might unload everything onto the island. Start from there. Hands down, best scented cleaning product I have ever owned. The Delson Farm Rosebury Multi-Surface Cleaner. It smells amazing, absolutely love it. Just thought I would mention that. Back to the music, back to Beyonce. I'll be here forever, waiting for your Lovers come, lovers go, and their hearts seem to change, but mine is still the same, cause I still love them all, and my heart is not to blame, it's just the way it is. that you wish you never started although I don't wish I never started I'm just like oh, chaos okay so I've emptied everything from the pantry cupboard so let me show you what we're working with so this is absolutely everything that was in the pantry so we've got a few bags down here with some food bits in like um tin stuff jarred stuff a couple of other food foodie bits all dry food basically and then we've got the kind of like jars and boxes and labels and baskets um i'm just kind of keeping that there because it's quite heavy so i'm just going to pop that straight back in as it is um because i quite like it having a tray like that i think i got where did i get that from teamio i think anyway this is how the pantry is looking in itself i'm going to take those reed diffusers downstairs and i'm going to try and see if we can keep this double cupboard here free for appliances so i can maybe like put these away and bring them out maybe not the air fryer the air fryer might be too big i haven't touched the larder unit i'm gonna probably do that as a separate video because everything in here is like for coffees and drinks and teas 
So yeah, that I'll do in a separate, I'll do on a separate day. Maybe do like a full larder clear out, reorganize, and then maybe do like a pantry tour at some point in the future where I go in depth with everything. Definitely need to give that a clean. I've not done this one. This one's gonna be like left for Barney's things. So I'm just gonna keep that as it is. Right, I'm just trying to map out and organize where I'm gonna have everything. So I have just popped the air fryer and KitchenAid down this end. Neither of those fit in this double drawer, so I am gonna have to keep them out, which is fine. So in here, we just have the Nutribullet over there, a couple of like coffee things, hand mixer, toaster, and I've just put that pestle and water there for the minute, but I'll probably keep that out. I'm thinking up here could be like tins of stuff and maybe in one of them like cereals and baking goods. So yeah, maybe tins in that one, baked goods, flour, cereals, dried foods in there. That's where I'm thinking I'm gonna start off with. And then I've got loads of other jarred and like big packets of crisps and stuff like that that I could maybe put within here and also here. So yeah, there's plenty of room for food. So I feel like that's where we're gonna start. Start up top, I think. What I might do as well, I'll see how I get on, but with the jars in particular, not the jars, the tins of things, I feel like maybe it might be worth having like a tiered thing that you put in there. I've got one for my spices. In fact, yeah, where I'm gonna put spices, spices maybe in this one as well with the tinned goods. I could maybe put my oils in here. I'm not sure if they'll fit though, because I feel like it might be better in where it was like in one of these bottom ones, because that's where they all fit. We'll see, we'll see how we go. And then we'll do spices on the other side, of which I definitely need to get some labels and nice looking jars, but for now I'm just gonna put them in there and then probably do that another time. Right, I probably need to get my little step ladder out now for, for the tinned goods. Pretty happy with that. Definitely need a restock. This is how empty our cupboards are. We've got like the more like unused things up the top. So like things like these for the pizza night. We can just go down when we have pizza night. Pumpkin puree, soups in a box. I thought I'd put it up there so that all of these are just tins. And now let's move on to like cereals, baked goods and see if they can all fit in here.
we're slowly but surely getting there. We're making progress. I have just had <laughs> a bit of an incident. I've just dropped a load of spaghetti, which is annoying. Uh, yeah, that is a shame. Right, I'm going to pop the spaghetti in one of these tall jars, I think. We're getting there. Let me show you the progress I've made so far. I'm still kind of shuffling things around, so this might change. But I'm thinking pastas and rice is up here. Bread bin, which has got like breads and crumpets and stuff in there. And down at the bottom, we've got potatoes, onions, and garlic. I was gonna have this at the top, but because of like cereals and things, these acrylic containers don't fit in the top covers because if you can see, they're like half the depth. So anyway, I've put them here. So cereals, porridge, granolas, baking products, spare flour or like other flours because then I've got plain self-raising <laughs> self raising back there oats coconut and then their easy access are butter dish and eggs and I've got four baskets here of which I'm going to have sweet treats on the bottom savory on the top like crisps and snacks and stuff chocolates and then up the top I've got that bread bin I've popped a little label on it that says crackers so I've got like cheese crackers in there I might put like some cheese chutney jars in there, we'll see. And then in here, this is looking pretty much the same. I've got these spice things up there, which I might use some of them for those. So that will free up that space up there, but that's how we're looking. And then obviously, like I said, the intention is to keep appliances in here, but we'll see how I get on with space wise. I might use like half of it for food and maybe just take that pestle and mortar out and shimmy these up a bit. And then I do still have this little cupboard at the end, which I can pop some like jars or something in there. I think I might do like overfill in here. So things that like I've got a load of oats, which um, I'll fill up, top up that one. But then once that's topped up, there'll still be some left over. So pop them in there, I've got like spare ketchups and stuff because we bought by at Costco. So that could be like the overflow cupboard. brand new day I'm pretty much are you gonna bring them here Barney bring it here he's helping me bring the shopping in bring it here come on we have it thank you thank you good boy <laughs> he likes to help carry the shopping in don't you what's this routine whereby every time Tom gets home because I'm always the one usually at home with him it's always Tom coming home and daddy's home no, that's mean, that's mean. Um, yeah, I've got into this routine, well, Tom's got into this routine where as soon as he gets home, he has something for Barney to carry. He always has something that he's carrying in, whether it be his like laptop bag, and suit, not suitcase. Um, why do I wanna say briefcase? Backpack, whatever it is that he's bringing in. And even yesterday, he didn't have any like anything for him to carry, so he purposely brought in from the car a limp roller, just so that when he opened the door and Barney greeted him, he could give him something to carry, <laughs> carry in. He just loves it. Proper retriever, and even if we've not got anything to carry, he runs straight to his bed to grab a toy. Don't you? You've got to have something in your mouth. Anyway, popped into Tesco's. They've got some gorgeous autumn bits in, and yeah, I did a full reel if you want to see more in depth of what they've got in currently so many nice things so um i got a couple which i'll show you in a second and then mainly i just got like a stock up for the pantry so i'll show you where i'm at with that i'm pretty much finished obviously aside from the larder which i'll probably do another day i want to do the kitchen uh, the kitchen the fridge at some point and then maybe do like a utility restock as well if you like these kind of videos so anyway got some pom bear crisps because i'm a child and i love them <laughs> And then some like snacks for the chocolate cupboard. I got some chunky Kit Kat whites, some crunchies. I did get some normal Kit Kats as well. There they are. I got these. I mean, I'll do this and I'll show you the teas and everything in the larder clear up whenever I ever get around to doing that. But 
I've got the vanilla chai ones and I really like them. So I've got the original chai tea to, to try. Has anyone tried a chai latte before? I feel like I need to try one because I love cinnamon and I didn't really know what chai latte was. But I love the chai teas that fuck I do. So I feel like I would like a chai latte. Maybe I should try that next time I go to Starbucks. Anyway, um, some homey bits. I got some of these baking trays. How nice is this color, by the way? And I got some individual packs of kettle crisps. I also got these, which are four pounds each. They were new in, in the garden section, because Tom needed these when he was, he's got this little like herb, growing thing that he's got outside in the garden. We are eventually gonna do like a herb bed garden, a herb bed at the end of the garden, but yeah, he had to use a kitchen spoon for the compost because we didn't have one of these. I do have a little gardening tin downstairs with some little like markers, some gloves, some like twine, just like little gardening bits. So I'll put those in there. Some hula hoops, some eggs. I think I remember saying on a vlog a while back about these Muller yogurts, how I just craved them. And the packs, they only ever do these banana chocolate fla flavor ones and the vanilla balls. And I was saying, I wonder if they even do the toffee hoops anymore. So I went down the yogurt section and they do. So I decided to get the offer. I think it's like eight for four pounds. So I've got some toffee hoop ones, the banana ones and some strawberry ones. Oh, I got this new scent from Duck for the toilet, refreshing eucalyptus and lavender. Thought that sounded nice. Also, these were in the clearance, these fragrance spheres that Yankee Candle do, and they're the perfect size to pop in your cup holder in your car. So I got the warm cashmere, but they did have loads of different scents. But they were in the clearance from about eight pounds down to three. I got two things from the new Horton Autumn Home Range, and I got this little tea caddy slash spoon rest, they called it, and it's in this beautiful, like ceramic finish of a maple leaf. How nice is that? That was only £2.50. This was six or eight pounds, I can't quite remember, but autumn embossed serving bowl cream. How nice is that? So I'm gonna do this year in September, like at the start of September, some point during the first week, I will do a decorate for autumn with me, but neutral. So like, you know? And then at the beginning of October, I think I might do like a refresh and incorporate more like bright and bold colors and do a bit more of like a Halloween decorate with me. Or like a few more little Halloween -y bits and colorful bits. So yeah, I think I'm gonna do like two decorate with me this awesome and Halloween. Um, Cause also I, I like Halloween, but I don't like decorating for Halloween until it's like literally a week or two before. So yeah, that will be coming in October. But September is the start of autumn, right? I mean, I know a lot of people are tagging me in their photos of decorating their homes already. And I'm feeling like the urge to just decorate now, but that will be coming early September. Um, I got this, I keep seeing this on TikTok and it's P for Pizza game. It's basically like a card game where you've got kind of a bit like a snap type situation but with these letters and it's kind of like the alphabet game as well which I used to love growing up we used to go on so many long car journeys because our family is like just spread out all over the show and we used to move around every two years being in the military so we were always usually like a long like five hour drive to see our family every year at Christmas and I always remember in the car journeys growing up we used to always play the alphabet game we'd pick a category well that's what I called it anyway the alphabet game. Pick a category, boy's name, girl's name, animal, job, whatever it would may be, and we would go through the alphabet and try and name something from that category that begins with that letter. I thought I would pick that up, because we do, oh no, damn it. Just put salt everywhere. There's a salt pot in my, on my island, anyway. Yeah, because we've got the front room ready for styling and decorating now, we're just gonna measure up for sofas, and in the bookcase, I definitely want to have some more board games for when we've got friends and family over. I thought this would be a good, fun little one to get. So anyway, what else did I get? I've just got some tuna, loads of tin food, so you'll see that. I'm gonna pop it all away now. Some baked potatoes as well. Oh, and these little, oh, this is perfect for me because once you open an oat milk, is it about five days you've got to use it within? Yeah, five days. And I never get through a full one in under a week for just myself, because I'm the only one that drinks oat milk. 
So um, yeah, they do these new mini ones, the barista edition as well, which is perfect for making coffees, for having oat milk. Because I just am reluctant to buy oat milk when I feel like I waste a load of it. So anyway, got them, got a few of them. Got some sugar cubes for our little sugar cube pot in our llama unit. Got some apple sauce. I like chili jam, but I thought this one sounded really nice. Maple chili jam. I think that's it. Just loads of tinned items now. Beans, sweet corn, tuna, and all that kind of stuff. So we're gonna have a fully stocked cupboard, which is gonna feel nice. So yeah, let's get on with that. Let's unpack all of this. Let's pop it all away. Show you my finished looking so far pantry oh the other thing i feel like i'm gonna to have to do another day as well because i'm gonna to have to order some on amazon or something is little spice jars for all the spice jar containers so i'll do that within a separate video as well looking like I feel like for today this is where I'm gonna leave it and yeah still a little bit more aesthetically pleasing things that I can add in here throughout the next several vlogs I will do so let me just move my phone it's ruining the vibe okay so let's start with obviously the larger unit this is just as it was before I have found and come across a couple of syrups which I've put by the coffee machine need i say more and yeah i feel like i'm really looking forward to giving that a good tackle but anything in there is literally just coffees and teas and drinks related so then starting with the bottom cupboard down here the way that i have organized these two cupboards are um as you can see we have a big bread bin here just some spare um cheer oops cheer that didn't fit in the bread bin i'll just keep them to there to one side got some rices some like condiments jams stuff like that and then pastas in these two and then i have these hessian bags with onions and potatoes in. It'll be a bit easier to show you holding the camera so i do have a couple of acacia wood lidded jars here with just lentils garlic and spaghetti but yeah pastas are all in there I've got like lemon curd jam honey that kind of thing in there then moving to the kind of worktop area how i've left it currently i've just popped couple of cookbooks within their stands, the treat jar for Barney, and then the KitchenAid mixer and the air fryer. This cupboard has been allocated all the kind of like baking goods and yeah, like eggs and butter, which we reach for every day pretty much. We've got some oats, flour, coconut, more flour, sugars, baking products, and cereals down here as well and granola and muesli porridge that kind of thing so that is how that i just like how there's space in there you know everything's not jam packed in you can easily see everything and then this top cupboard i have used these kubu baskets from ikea and a couple of other baskets up the top with my um zara bread bin i popped a little label on the front there crackers so we've got different kind of like breadsticks, crackers, things for like cheese boards, that kind of thing. And in both of these, we have more kind of condiments. To be honest with you, a lot of them are like chutneys and pickles for cheese boards. So that's really like my cheese board section. And then for snacks, I've got savory up top and sweet down bottom, mostly popcorn in this one. 
chocolates and like treats in that one crisps in this one and then again crisps and snacker jacks in this one then back down along the bottom this cupboard has a nice big empty space in which is great so that everything again isn't just jam-packed in there we do have the toaster pass and mortar couple of appliances like Nutribullet and then the first aid bits and vitamins in that bag um, down there. So we've got this space to work with, maybe for like another appliance if we um, need the space for it then that is there. And then the top cupboards up here are for all canned goods, long life goods. Again that space there will free up once I decant all of these within those. I just might see if I can find some more because um, there's about 10 there and I think I'm probably going to need more like 15 to 20 so I'm going to see if I can find some more that match those acacia wood lidded jars I got those from Aldi but ages ago so they don't sell them anymore then we've got our little lazy susan with all our oils and like relishes and things on that's just kind of like an overflow of salt some stuffing mix and these little stock cubes as well and then this top cupboard is just for the overflow so we've got a couple of spare jars in there some scoops some ketchup some spare oats and again more jars up the top and then this one just hasn't changed it's just barney's little station where i need to find a tub container the right size for that food that i'm just going to pop in there and that's what everything looks like closed up i'll pop the lights on so you can see what they look like when they're on at night. I've just got my little ladder, my step ladder still out, but I tend to fold that away and pop it away, but it is really handy for reaching those top covers. But yeah, that is the finished, for now anyway, pantry. close off today's vlog here i hope you guys have enjoyed um organizing with me spending the day and today with me as well um i hope you have enjoyed it if you have thumbs up and if you want any more content like this then by all means let me know i hope you all have an amazing rest of your day whatever it is that you are doing whatever time of the day you're watching this hope you've had a good day if it's evening and yeah sending you all my love and i will look forward to seeing you in my next video bye guys